Hi, I'm Greg Hallett. I want to take just a few minutes and talk to you about how to play soft music. Now, instead of going into a long introduction here, what I want to do instead is just jump right into the video. I'm actually going to show you a clip from the video now, the first few minutes, where I talk about why this is important and uh, give you a little demonstration of what I'm talking about. Now, my producer was just look over my shoulder and said, Greg, if you're going to talk about playing soft music for an hour, um, you better not charge much for it because really, what do they have to do except put down the soft pedal? And I was thinking, well, that's probably why you're a producer and I'm a pianist. I don't know that he knows too much about playing the piano. He's sitting right there, so I can say that. Uh, but the truth is, a lot of church pianists really have nothing more in their, in their arsenal to do than that, put down the soft pedal. You know, the problem we have is a lot of us were taught this style right here. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. We call it stride. Big right hand chords, big things happening in the left hand, a big, big sound, which works fine in some settings in church, but then you get to the point where you have to play underneath a prayer or maybe during communion or maybe during an invitation. And all of a sudden you need a much softer approach. And so what do we do as pianists? We do something like this. Put down the soft pedal, play a little bit softer and hope it works, and it doesn't. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a big difference between that and this. So you know what I'm talking about, right? And you notice I did that with Wonderful Grace of Jesus. Um, it's, it is possible to play even the most bombastic songs um, in a quiet way in those kind of settings. I call it mood music. It's a big thing for church pianists now. Uh, more and more we're called upon to play that style of music and we need to find ways to adjust what we do to that style. This course is going to give you 10 things that I do. I'll leave it all out there for you. Um, in this course on what I do um, to achieve that style. And um, we're going to cover those things over the next few minutes. All right, so hopefully that gave you an idea why this is important and also um, what, you can, uh, what you can do with this style. Now, in this course, I go through 10 tips to help you get better at this particular style. Things like voicing, how to position your hands. When I tell you to play a chord, and you can play it a lot of different ways, but some sound a lot better than others more gentle than others. We talk about things like rubato, that very laid-back feel, um, simplification, simple patterns that you can play to get that kind of sound, and there's, there's several others. We go through 10 of them. When you get done, you should be able to take even the most bombastic song and reduce it to something that sounds really good. Here's a case in point. I'm going to play a clip now again from the course where I am demonstrating this style with the bombastic song when we all get to heaven.
So there's proof you can do it with when we all get to heaven. So if you enjoy this style or need it in your particular church, uh, consider getting this course.